Hello and welcome back to Richard Bozelich's Get Strong at Tsuji. Today we got some more intermediate problems, starting with problem number 227. Where does black need to play down here in order to win the capturing race between these two groups? Black's move is the descent, and if white responds by going here, then black will haunt it. This prevents white from Atari from this side. However, white can still Atari from this side. And now black will connect, and white will Atari here forcing black to capture, but now white can't take this move without connecting first, which allows black enough time to come back and Atari these four stones. Problem number 228, black is looking to link his two groups between this bridge of white stones. How does he do that? Black's move is the wedge here, and if white Atari's from on top, then black descends. White cannot disconnect either of these without connecting first, and if white does connect, then black will connect himself. If white Atari is the other way, then black will extend, and then whichever way white decides to connect, say white connects here, then black will Atari this. If white connects on the other side, then black will Atari this. Either way, black is connected. Problem number 229, where does black need to play in order to win the capturing race in the corner here? Black's move is the descent, and if white honeys, then black takes the, a liberty off of this white group. And now white can't play here without connecting first, which allows black to win the capturing race. If black goes the other way, then white has this honey. Now white has three liberties to black's two, which means that even if black starts the capturing race, white will win. Problem 230, black is looking to capture the white stones in the corner here. How does he do this? Black's move is the wedge. And if white tries to pull these stones out, then black will Atari. And this sets up a snapback. Problem number 233, black is looking to kill all of white stones right here. How does he do that? In cases of symmetry, black usually likes to play on the line of symmetry, which is here. A white can't Atari from this side because it would be self Atari, so white will need to connect instead. Then this allows black to go here, and this effectively removes white's second eye. If white connects, obviously white does not have two eyes. If white captures the stone, the black throws in, removing the second eye again. Alternatively, black can connect here, because white can't take the liberty on this side, and so this group is still dead. If white decides to capture first, then black will throw in over here, and this turns into a snapback if white captures. But because black has the stone here, white only has one eye in Gotei. From number 234, black to kill the group of white stones right here. Black's move is the honey, which also tarries this group. White will capture, and then black can squeeze this group. If white tries to pull these stones out, then black will just descend with it and capture the five right here. So that is it for another set of intermediate problems. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, please like it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or suggestions, please leave them below. Thanks again so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.